Crews, uh, 48 hours away from the grand final, how are the boys feeling? Yeah, I think um, we were saying it's not, it doesn't feel too much like a final week, you know, obviously the build-up, it's going to get more and more when we get to Old Trafford and we start walking around, but yeah, everything's nice and calm, um, we're just going through as players there and everyone seems really calm and I think that's, that's the best way to prepare for it, you know, we'll just do what we've been doing for the last couple of weeks, last couple of months really. Saints obviously are going to be a formidable task. Did you watch the game on Saturday when they're playing at Salford? Yeah, I was watching a bit of it. Um, I had one eye on it. I wasn't, I wasn't too fussed about you know how they played. It's totally different, and I know it's going to be totally different coming into a final. Form goes out window, um, and they'll, they'll throw a lot more at us. You know, it's a different team. So um, yeah, we'll be we'll be looking forward to it. But we just need to worry about what we've what we're doing and how, how we prepare for the game because I think that's what's been working for us. We've obviously previewed teams in, in in the past, but it's been more about us and what we're doing. And I think that's the most important bit, and that's what we need to continue doing in here this week. It's your first grand final. Obviously, you've got that experience from the, from the Challenge Cup final. It'll be a different experience this time. But can you can you use what that trip to Wembley in this week? Yeah, um, I was just speaking to Chev then about it. Uh, it was weird because he said to me before game you know you're going to have like finals legs and I said what do you mean by that and it's almost like you're in a game and it's slower but you can't get to where you need to get to and you, if you feel like you're running in a dream and he says now that's gone and it's out of the way you won't feel that again it's just that's part and parcel of being in a final so hopefully I don't feel like that again because the first five ten minutes of that challenge cup I was like wow it was it was like running in a dream um, but yeah it's going to be a totally different experience for me. Again, there were no fans last time when we played in that final. It was obviously still a massive occasion in my head and for the sport and for the game, but it's going to be different again. And I think I'm not going to pull too much from that final and take too much experience from it. I'm just going to take this final as it is and go into it and play it as, as I see it. And it's always a special occasion, whether it's because of the way Old Trafford is set up, but the nighttime game as well, it's a special experience. Yeah, and I think, you know, um, my missus was saying about the tickets, uh, you know, it's almost sold out there. Um, what to walk out there, it gets played uh, on Sky year after year after year, so it's going to be it's going to be a massive occasion. And I think, it, it, you know, it is obviously to win a Challenge Cup is massive, but I think the grand final is the big one and um, it's the end of the year, it's the last game, you know, it's, that's it, you're done. It's like you, you, after the after this game that this year's put to bed kind of thing where after the Challenge Cup it, you know you still have to kick on for the for the grand final so yeah it's, it's a big occasion and obviously um, I, can't, I just can't wait to play now. There have been some tough times this year as captain unfortunately post-match when we've had some of them big defeats you've had to come out and speak to me and, and, and talk on behalf of the squad can you believe where we've got to now in terms of how the season's gone? I think I'd be lying to you if I said you know when we were sat in 11th, we'd be getting to a grand final, I think, uh, you know, and I knew it was going to come. I think that would be a lie. Um, did I believe in the squad that we have and the players that we have that we could be that good to get to a grand final? Yes, I did. Um, I feel like everyone knew, like, you, you, you worked your way down our team sheet and I think everyone were like, a bit like what's going on here, you know, the, the, the players that they've got and, and the team that they've got, they should be, they should be winning more games and, and the, the, the games that we were losing were just unacceptable for a club of such magnitude and um, such a rich history. But I feel like some, we, we were working really hard and I think the turning point was when Jonesy took over a little bit, um, we, it was almost like if it, if it took you too, too longer to say it than what it did to do it um, you know the scientific way of going about things we almost got rid of it and it was just hard work hard work hard work and it were almost like through that period I did a load of interviews through that period and it were more like um, yeah, I were more gutted because we were working hard and, and we were tr trying really hard to get to get a win and we just weren't getting the fruits of his labour like even at Castle I can remember walking off we were two point we lost just by two points we worked so hard to get there and we, we should have won that game and I think that, that was what changed it and then when when Rowan come in, he just lifted the lid off the hard work that we'd done and put a little bit of systems and processes in place and, you know, had this little, uh, like, a new idea of a brand of rugby and I think that's what, you know, unlocked what, what we were capable of and give people confidence as well. Like, you know, you, you, you try to follow a blueprint and somebody keeps telling you, look, it's hard work, it's hard work, you need to keep going, you need to keep going, you, you, you will get the rewards. It's hard to get faith, to keep faith in that until until you do get the rewards. And I think when we started winning, then we we're like, right, we, you know, we are we are buying into this, and it was a massive flood of enthusiasm, of confidence. People started, you know, coming out of the shell. And I think now we've we've got ourselves to a place where there's still loads of improvement in us, but you know, it's it's a lot it's a lot better than where it was.